Good morning and welcome to Every Day with St John's Advent at Home. Luke 2 verse 6 says, While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. What comes up in your mind when you think about the Nativity? Many people are familiar with the story of Joseph and Mary going to Bethlehem on a donkey, having a baby, laying him in a manger because there was no room in the inn, visited by shepherds, angels and kings, or wise men. Nativity sets come in all shapes and sizes, all different materials, wood, wool, ceramic, wax. In 1223, Francis of Assisi put together the first nativity set made of life-sized figures and animals. In 2004, Madame Tussauds produced a nativity set of effigies of celebrities. The Archbishop of Canterbury and the Vatican were unimpressed. Madame Tussauds apologised and said it was all just a bit of fun, all in the spirit of Christmas. The value of the nativity set has somehow or another got lost in commercialism and it's blurred the lines between fact and fiction. While some nativity sets can be used as devotional aids, many are just another Christmas decoration like the Christmas tree, the fairy and the baubles. Mary was more likely to have laid the newly born Jesus in a trough rather than a manger. The point is, it was a lonely and a lowly and a poor place for a future king to have been born. It was inadequate and she would have been visited by strangers. Did you know that Bethlehem means house of bread? Jesus was born to become our spiritual food and God offers us to dine in the heavenly banquet as an invited guest. There we shall feast with Jesus, having spiritually feasted on him in God's house on earth, the church. Every nativity set embodies and presents this great spiritual truth and serves as a reminder that the baby born in the manger is one and the same as the man on the cross and the human being on the cross is one and the same almighty god the father the son and the holy spirit as you reflect today on your nativity scenes Recognise that Jesus is the centre of Christmas and he is the greatest gift of all. So let us thank God on Christmas Day for the birth of our King, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful Christmas.